Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of Tech Reviews. Now, and today I'm going to show you how to symbolically link your files from one part of your computer to a cloud service or some other part. Now, as far as things goes, I will get into what is symbolic linking in a second, but I want to get into two things first. One, I'm going to get some medium to high level technical stuff. So if you need help on uh, figuring out this stuff it, after I explain it, then feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try to help you out or send me an email on techfusenup.com. Also, uh, if, um, if you do run into any trouble, I'm not responsible for anything that comes up one way or another because I physically didn't touch your computer. But if you do run any trouble, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try to help you out. And um, if you want to keep it private, send tech reviews and up and I'll try to help you out. And if I can't help you out, I'll try to send you to someone or some group that can and that way you can get some help one way or another. So as far as what is symbolically linking, symbolically linking today I've only really seen a purpose of it in cloud services, mostly in Dropbox, Google Drive, things like that, not uh, your personal servers. Now as far as things goes, what symbolically linking is, is I want to still put in, um, say for example, in my documents folder or say in my video file or something like that, my stuff, so my documents will go in document folder, pictures go in the pictures folder, and so on. And normally that's not a problem, but as far as things goes, as far as Dropbox, Google Drive, and so on is concerned, they do not back up anything outside of their folders. Now this is very important to note, because what happens is when you have a, a um, stuff on video files or maybe you're playing a game and you got game save game files on say like a steam folder or something like that on a particular folder and you cannot move it it might be important to have a um, live feed from that to a cloud service one so you don't have to manually update it and two because let's say it's like a game or something so whenever it auto saves it automatically uploads to your cloud service so if your computer just goes out your cloud service should be able to pick you up and help you out from there now what you need to do is go to your control panel either by the 108 method or this go to user accounts go to again user accounts and go to the change user account control settings push this all the way down to never notified and you must be in a administrator account by the way once you do that and to be honest a lot of people say don't do that but the simple fact is is unless if you blindly download things and unless if you and I'm talking about literally just blindly download things and you don't trust yourself even with a steak knife that might be the time they keep that thing on. So as far as this goes, go down to the start menu and now type in CMD and right click here and go to the run as administrator. And from here, if you're on Windows 8, go to the search, same thing, CMD, run as administrator. If you don't run as administrator, your stuff will show up like this command prompt or something else you run as administrator it will say administrator command prompt very important it says administrator command prompt other words you will not have the privilege to do this so if you're if you're typing this in then it's very important that you follow very closely on how to type this but if you're um, copy and pasting this in it's very important that you need to know where in fact, both cases, you need to know where your file is as far as what you want it. Say, for example, video file, where it is, and where you want it to link to. So you need to know where you want it to link from, where you want it to link to in its exact directory, which is right here. And if this doesn't show, then simply go to the C drive, users, your username, and whatever it may be. 
So in this case, it's there. So as far as here, MK, LINK, space, force, slash D, space, parentheses. Uh, you can just, just copy this. Um, you need to make a folder. So what we need to do is paste wherever you want it to go to uh, and uh, name the file link uh, video whatever you want for this case I'm just doing link and then close parentheses space parentheses copy and paste this in close parentheses and give it a second or two and you should see it right here and you saw it syncing and now it's synced up and I should even be able to see where I can share this now the interesting thing is if you add a file or something here it will automatically add in the old place you delete it here or add it here it'll take a second or two or you might have to refresh but it will go away here so that's the interesting thing and just view it on here and you can see the file here and everything as if you're looking at these on here so that's pretty much how you do it and I can add take away do whatever with videos and whatnot and it, 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 say for example I go in and add a couple videos the thing should sync up not immediately but the next time you crank up your computer you may experience some trouble with this depending on what cloud service you're with um, I, I noticed with Google Drive it works sometimes with Dropbox it seems like every time you restart your computer it uh, it looks at all what's in its file it then syncs up or every so often looks at it and syncs up so that's one thing to keep in mind that uh, you might want to take a look at it after you add things in there that's that's the one of the few downsides second downside is if you do get a virus say within here or here it obviously goes to the whatever so say for example you get a virus in here it automatically goes on your computer and goes here and vice versa so it's very important to note that now as far as other uses for symbolic i i honestly cannot think of any at this time due to say for example if i did this exact same thing to a actual i i i guess you'll say a backup hard drive or something it would not work that well so say for example i did a new folder and I can see here it's empty. Add something in here to show it's active. And I can see now let's kill it. You'll still see it right here. Let's refresh it and you can get this error. So you can't use it at all. And this is what I'm talking about. It's not useful when you're doing backup hard drives or something. It's only useful for cloud services, specifically Dropbox, Google Drive, SkyDrive things like that not your home cloud service that's that's very 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 important because if say for example i backed up this and i actually tried it earlier if i backed up this to my backup hard drive with this method and this uh dropbox goes away for one reason or another then i got a problem where the um it ain't, it's not on the backup hard drive that's very important to note. That's also important to note because let's take a look at the the um, link. When you end up having it set up, let's um, set up again with this. It does not add this memory, which would have been about uh, 43 megs. It would not add that memory to this so it's very important to note that so a, a test of that so let's actually add this entire Dropbox folder to here just doing a little experiment and I'll be over back when that's 
And as you see here, let's create it real quick. Test, and it's the entire Dropbox folder, as you can see there. And it should be around 38 gigabytes. Take a look at the stuff from the PCN. Let's push this over to actually delete it. And you see here 586 free of 596. So with 38, I mean obviously that that shows you right there that it does not use any memory. Delete it there. And you see that it did nothing with the memory. Go in, go back out just to show you it did nothing with the memory. Now, one thing I also want to mention is when you, again, when you go inside the actual thing and delete the actual thing, um, say for example this video, again it will affect it but if you delete the actual folder itself it does not it just kills the link between the two folders that's it so that's very important to note also now as far as things goes if this video has helped you then please like please subscribe and please share and this has been craig bennett from techreviewsnup.com and hope you have a great day